hi everyone welcome back to the ledger account series that we have started now here in the second video we are going to see this practical example of how to post the journal entries into the ledger accounts is that okay yes now before moving ahead with this video please make sure you have watched the previous video of this chapter where we have discussed many many things really yeah the concept the basic things about the ledger what's a ledger what's a ledger account what's the difference between these two and then the format of ledger why do we prepare the ledger what's the reason behind it and all these things and then the most important thing was we have seen the modern technique of preparing the ledger account yeah we are not doing that opposite things yeah opposite of journal entry something like that you have to do yeah most of the teacher you know teaches like that you, know, you have to do opposite of journal something like that cross postings and all that shit no you don't need to do that you have to you know have a proper logical understanding of these ledger accounts yeah that's what we have done okay so i have said that there are only five things in accounting in the first video also asset expense liability capital revenue yeah and you need to know the balances these accounts have and you should be able to categorize each and everything in accounting in only these five categories yeah and use those rules and do the accounting that's one more thing that's called drawings that's opposite to capital yeah so you have to you know remember that as an exception fine so this was the first video that we have discussed now let's get back to the second video and let's solve this example now see here first let's see the general entries of this transaction and then we'll see the ledger postings okay so the first transaction here we have Aaron started business with cash 80,000 now tell me which two accounts are involved in this Aaron has started a business with cash so of course there is cash involved and there is capital involved yeah so capital is increasing cash is also increasing so what's the general entry simple cash account debit to capital account yeah 80,000 80,000 you all know the general entries isn't it capital has credit balance to increase the capital you have to do what you have to credit and cash is an asset account to record that to increase that you have to debit that so cash account debit to capital account clear next transaction you have is deposited into bank 50,000 so what is happening due to this transaction which two accounts are affected at least two accounts will be affected so here cash account is being affected and the bank account bank account is increasing you have deposited the cash into the bank and cash account your money in your hand is decreasing it's decreasing right so the entry would be bank account debit to cash yeah bank account debit to cash why is that because bank account has been increased you have to debit that it's an asset account 50,000 and cash is decreasing 50,000 simple as that next you have bought goods for cash 10,000 yeah so what is happening over here you have purchased the goods purchases are increasing expenses increasing and then cash is decreasing because you have spent the money right so cash is decreasing cash is going to be credited so see here purchase account debit yeah your expenses increasing purchases are increasing you have to debit that 10,000 and cash is reducing you have to credit that to cash account 10,000 simple as that asset decreases you have to credit that right and then let's go to the next transaction drew cash from bank for office use yeah 5,000 so what is happening in this transaction in the third transaction we have withdrawn the money from the bank yeah we have withdrawn money from the bank 5,000 so what's the entry think which two accounts are affected you have got the cash cash account is affected yeah cash is increasing bank balance is decreasing bank account is decreasing so the entry would be cash account debit to bank account isn't it cash account debit yeah cash in hand is increasing you have made a withdrawal so 5000 and then bank account is decreasing that's 5000 back to bank account credit 5000 simple as that then you have next entry sold goods to vj on credit you're making sales to vj on credit vj hasn't paid you anything so vj is your data receivables yeah you have to receive money from vj so vj is becoming your data and asset so you know vj is increasing the data is increasing yeah you are gonna get money from him in future so he is your asset isn't it yeah so the entry would be like this vj account debit yeah vj account debit he's your data your asset asset is increasing 2000 in future you are gonna get money from vj so that's why 2000 asset you have to record asset is increasing you have to debit that and sales is what sales is revenue if revenue increases what do you do if revenue increases you are gonna credit that yeah so two sales account 2000 simple as that and then what do you have next transaction bought goods from Raif on credit 6000 you're purchasing goods from Raif on credit you haven't paid anything so who is Raif Raif is your creditor he's your payables yeah Raif is your payables isn't it you have to pay money to him in future so that's why liability is increasing Raif account is increasing liability is increasing you have to credit that and then bought goods yeah purchases are also increasing purchase is an expense expense is increasing you have to debit that so entry would be purchases account debit we have made the purchases 
your expense is increasing so debit the purchase is 6000 and rife is your liability you have to pay to rife in future yeah so liability is increasing credit our account is increasing so you have to credit that personal account with his name to rife account 6000 yeah here what was happened here you were supposed to receive money from vijay yeah you are supposed to receive money from vijay so he's your asset yeah because there's a future benefit there but here there's a future obligation isn't it you have to pay your yeah, obligation is there so that's why you have to recognize a liability to rife account 6000 purchases account debit to rife you all know this yeah simple simple entries fine then what happens see here next transaction receive cash from vijay 1000 yeah how much money we are supposed to receive from vijay we are supposed to receive 2000 from vijay but he has paid us 1000 fine we're gonna take 1000 but the remaining 1000 he is gonna pay us later fine so receive cash from vijay 1000 so what's the entry you have got the cash yeah cash account is increasing and then vijay account is decreasing now you will be confused how come vijay account is decreasing we have received the money from vijay think properly vijay is your data yeah vijay is your data you were supposed to receive 2000 from him yes so 2000 benefit was there in future but if you have received 1000 now that means that benefit you have got that yeah so only remaining 1000 is the benefit now so that's why your asset vj is decreasing okay so the entry would be like this cash account debit you have got the money yes cash is increasing cash account debit 1000 and then vj account will be decreasing because you have received 1000 in future you are gonna only receive the remaining 1000 yeah so you have to decrease the asset the debtor vj account by 1000 to vj account 1000 cash account debit to vj account 1000 yeah then what then see here paid to rife in cash 3000 to rife how much we have paid we have paid 3000 we are supposed to pay to him 6000 but we have paid him 3000 fine now we are paying 3000 later we will pay the remaining 3000 okay it doesn't matter so we have paid 3000 so record that simple which two accounts are affected of course rife account will be affected and the cash account we have paid to rife right cash account is decreasing cash account is decreasing asset is decreasing you have to credit that rife account what's happening to rife account rife is our liability if you pay to rife your liability decreases isn't it see if you have to pay to someone and if you pay to them then you don't have any more obligation isn't it you don't need to pay in future so that's why so when we pay 3000 to rife our obligation to rife has decreased by 3000 so liability has been decreased so that's why we have to debit the rife account rife account debit yeah whenever liability decreases what do we do we debit that isn't it so rife account debit 3000 and then cash account our cash has been decreased we have paid 3000 so asset account, asset account is decreasing we have to credit that to cash account 3000 simple as that then the last transaction we have over here see paid rent through bank 10000 now if you are paying the rent through the bank which two accounts are affected tell me of course rent account rent is an expense account you have incurred the expense you have to record the expense so rent account is increasing yeah i have told you expense never decreases yeah if there are any errors you might have to reverse that but it never decreases if you have incurred the expense that means expense has been increased right so expense increases you have to debit that simple rent account debit 10000 and you have paid the rent through bank so that's why you have to decrease your bank account your asset bank account right so two bank account 10000 simple as that if you had paid you know rent through cash then the entry would be rent account debit to cash you all know the simple simple entries yeah so these were the general entries that we had to pass now actually i wanted to explain you you know directly yeah from the transaction to the directly into the ledger but then i thought since you know you are seeing this maybe first time or something so that's why i wanted to go through the proper way that's the from the transaction to the general entries and then to the ledger accounts fine so that's what but later i'm gonna explain you how to do directly also yeah without doing general entries also is that okay right so now let's see how to do the ledger postings of these journal entries within a second now here we have the ledger accounts i have already prepared everything to save the time so let's start with the first transaction the first transaction we have is aaron started business with cash eighty thousand. so the general entry for that was cash account debit to capital account cash account has been debited and capital account has been credited now i have told you previously that for every name we take in the journal entries we have to open a respective ledger account isn't it yes so that's what we're going to do we are going to open cash account first so see here cash account ledger account right so cash account is an asset account it has debit balance so debit means plus and credit means minus yeah so whenever cash account will increase you're gonna debit whenever cash account is gonna decrease you're going to credit and that's what we have done in the journal entry 
cash account debit yeah because cash increase in the business so now come to the ledger how to do the posting see here cash account has been debited because cash is increasing cash account has been debited because of capital to capital account 80000 is that clear yes now this is just the half effect of the transaction we are doing double entry system over here so we are going to show the other effect in the capital account see capital right so go to the capital account yeah open the capital account capital account has credit balance so credit means plus for capital and debit means minus for capital yeah whenever capital will increase you're gonna credit whenever capital will decrease you're gonna debit right so now what is happening in this transaction capital is increasing if capital is increasing you are going to credit the capital account and that's what we have done in the general entry capital account credit so see here capital account credit yeah capital account credit why credit because it has been increased because of cash by cash account 80,000 is that clear right so this is how you have to do the posting okay so now there are no more transaction that is affecting our capital account so that's why we are going to close the capital account by closing I mean you will find out the total and balance it out okay so first take the total and find which side is bigger debit side or credit side which side is bigger credit side is bigger because there's nothing on the debit side so 80,000 this side is bigger so take it on both the side blindly 80,000 80,000 and then there is a shortfall over here yeah there is zero over here there is nothing so fill that up with the balance to balance carry it down yeah carry it down to the next accounting period 80,000 is that clear fine so that's regarding the first transaction now let's move on to the next transaction see here deposit it into bank 50,000 yeah so the general entry for this is see here bank account debit cash account credit 50,000 50,000 so what you have to do again whatever name you take in the general entry you have to open a respective ledger account so let's open a bank account yeah see here i have a bank account over here bank account so what is happening over here we have deposited the money into the bank so bank account is increasing bank account is increasing that means what you have to debit because it's an asset account it has debit balance so bank account is increasing you have to debit that bank account debit plus yeah why it has been increased because you have put the cash into the bank so to cash 50,000 simple as that you don't even need to see the general entry directly from the transaction also you can do okay but I want to teach you the whole sum okay the whole way so see here uh, bank account to cash right so bank account has been debited so bank account debit because of cash 50,000 is that clear now this is just the single effect of a transaction right so let's show the another effect in the cash account so go to the cash account go to the cash account right so what has happened to the cash account cash account has been credited 50,000 so cash account has been credited because we have put the money into the bank by bank account 50,000 simple as that right that's how you are gonna do the posting of the second transaction yeah fine I mean the first transaction actually there is no serial number for that first I mean the actual first transaction yeah so let's say this is the first transaction fine so then we have next transaction bought goods for cash 10,000 yeah and the general entry was purchases account debit 10,000 to cash account 10,000 purchases expenses increasing and cash is decreasing of course we have paid the money in cash outright yep so let's open the purchases account again for every name you take in the general entries you have to open a respective ledger account right so let's open a purchases account see here purchases account yeah so purchases have been increased because we have made the purchases yeah it's an expense so it has debit balance purchase account has debit balance whenever purchases increases you have to debit yeah debit means plus for purchases right so purchases are increasing because you have paid the money in cash to cash account 10,000 is that clear I mean you have purchased the goods for cash yeah so purchase are debited yeah and you have paid the money cash right if you had not paid the money let's say you have bought the goods from Simon on credit Simon so what you would have done the entry would have been purchases account debit we have made the purchases from Simon so to Simon like that but here you have paid the money outright no person's name will come yeah from whom you have purchased that name will not come you will just take to cash account 10,000 is that clear right so that's what now the other effect you have to show in the cash account so let's go to the cash account see here in the cash account yeah so when you make the purchases what happens when you make the purchases your cash decreases cash account credit yeah that's what we have done in the general entry cash account has been credited right so cash account credit because of purchases by purchases account 10,000 is that clear so this is how you have to do it cash account has been decreased it has been credited because have we had made the purchases with the cash 
ten thousand. Is that clear? So that's the posting regarding this transaction. Bought goods for cash. Next, we have drew cash from bank for office use. Yeah. What we have done? We have done a withdrawal from the bank. Yeah. So the money is five thousand, and the general entry for that was cash account debit. Yeah. Cash in hand has been increased, but the bank balance has been decreased. So let's go to the cash account. Yeah. Cash in hand has been increased because we have made the withdrawal. So cash account debit. Because of bank to bank account five thousand, is that clear? Now the other effect in the bank account you have to show. Go to the bank account. In the bank account, what has happened? See, bank balance has been decreased because you have withdrawn the money. So bank account credit, bank account has been decreased because you have made a withdrawal in cash. So by cash account five thousand, is that clear? So for every transaction there will be two effects. Yeah. A debit and a credit, and both of them have to be equal. But sometimes you will have compound entries where there will be three or four accounts will be affected. But still, in together, the debit will always be equal to credit. Okay. Sometimes what can happen? You know, one one debit will be equal to three credits. Yeah, like that. Don't worry. We'll see that in the next video. Yeah. So moving on to the next transaction, we have sold goods to Vijay on credit. Yeah, we have sold the goods to Vijay on credit. So VJ is our data. Data means what? Data means asset, right? VJ is our asset, and we have made the sales. So the entry for that was see here VJ account debit two thousand to sales account two thousand. Yeah. So let's open VJ account and sales account. See here VJ account, right? So VJ is our data. He is our asset. So it has debit balance. So debit means plus, and credit means minus over here for this account, right? So we have made the sales to VJ. So our asset is increasing. VJ is increasing because we have a future benefit now. We are going to get money in future from VJ. So VJ account is increasing because we have made sales to him. Yeah, VJ account debit because of sales, right? So two sales account, two thousand. Is that clear? Now that's just a single effect. Now we have to go to the sales account. Yeah, sales account and show the complete effect. So come to the sales account. What has happened? What has happened to the sales? See here, sales account has been credited, and that's what we're gonna do in the ledger account. Okay, nothing different. So sales account has been credited. Yeah, sales are increasing because we have made the sales, isn't it? Sales are increasing. So sales account credit, sales are increased because of VJ. We have sold the goods to VJ. So buy VJ account two thousand. Is that clear? So that's a complete effect of that transaction. Fine. Moving on then, what do we have? Bought goods from Rife on credit six thousand. Yeah. Now who is Rife? From Rife we have purchased on credit. So he is our creditor. He is our liability. So the entry for that was purchases account debit. Yeah. We have made the purchases from Rife. So to Rife account. Yeah. Our liability to Rife has been increased. So that's why we have credited the Rife account over here. So purchase account has been debited. Rife account has been credited. So now what we have to do? We have to go to the purchases account. See here we have to go to the purchases account. And then purchases have increased. We have purchased goods. Yeah, we have got the goods. So purchases have been increased. Yeah, because of Rife to Rife account six thousand. Is that clear? Right. Then go to the Rife account. Go to the Rife account. Yeah, we have to open the Rife account. So go to the Rife account. Rife is our creditor. Yeah, this account has credit balance. This is a liability account. It has credit balance. So debit means what? Minus and credit means plus. Yeah. So now here, what is happening? Our liability to Rife is increased. We have a future obligation to pay to Rife. So Rife account is increasing. Our liability is increasing because we have made purchases. So Rife account credit by purchases account six thousand. Is that clear? Rife account has been credited because of purchases. Is that clear? Right. Then what happened? Moving on to the next transaction. Next transaction we have is, see here, received cash from Vijay one thousand. Yeah. So we are getting money from Vijay. So the entry for that was cash account debit to Vijay account. So cash account has been debited. So go to the cash account. See here, cash account has been debited. Yeah. Cash is increasing because we have received the money from Vijay. Cash account debit because of Vijay. So to Vijay account one thousand. Is that clear? Right. Then the other effect you have to show in the Vijay account. Go to the Vijay account. See here. Go to the Vijay account. Vijay is an asset. Yeah, Vijay is our asset. He has paid money to us. We have received the money from him. So our asset is decreasing. I have already explained how is that. Yeah, Vijay account is decreasing because we have received the cash from him by cash account one thousand. Is that clear? Is that clear to you? 
right so that's what regarding that transaction next we have paid to arrive in cash 3000 paid to arrive in cash 3000 so the entry for that was rife account debit 3000 to cash account credit 3000 yeah so now go to the rife account go to the rife account what has happened over here liability has been decreased rife account is decreasing why is that because we have paid the money if you pay the money then you don't have to pay any more yeah if you are paying that 3000 you don't have to pay that 3000 anymore yeah the remaining you will have to pay but that 3000 liability is reducing now so that's why rife account has been debited because we have paid cash to him to cash account 3000 is that clear to you simple yeah now the other effect you have to show in the cash account so go to the cash account go to the cash account cash has been decreased yeah cash has been credited why is that because we have paid the money our asset is decreasing cash is decreasing so credit that cash account credit because we have paid it to rife by rife account 3000 is that clear right next transaction we have is the last transaction paid rent through bank 10000 so rent is an expense open that account yeah the entry see here rent account debit 10000 to bank account 10000 so now let's open the rent account see here rent account now for the rent account it's an expense account it has debit balance debit means plus credit means minus so what has happened over here we have incurred the expense rent is increasing so you have to record the rent so rent account debit rent account debit because you have incurred it by paying it through the bank so to bank account 10,000 simple thing rent account is increasing because of bank you have paid through bank so to bank account 10,000 simple as that do you get that right so that's what and then the other effect you have to show in the bank account so see here in the bank account see if you're paying the rent what will happen to your bank account the bank balance will decrease of course yeah it's an obvious thing simple common sense so bank account has been decreased because you have paid the rent yeah bank account credit because of rent by rent account 10,000 is that clear to you simple you understood this fine so till here we have finished all the transaction now all that is left is we have to balance the ledger account and we have to understand the interpretation what analysis can we make out of this ledger account and their balances yeah so let's balance all the accounts right so see here let's start with the cash account so in cash account all the black ink you see those we have done and the blue we haven't done yet right so see here first what you have to do you have to see which side is bigger so of course cash account debit side will be bigger why is that because if you have this much money then only you'll be able to spend now otherwise you will not be able to spend isn't it so in the cash account this is the receipt side and this is the payment side right so see here 80,000 money you had 5,000 plus 1,000 that's equal to 86,000 80 plus 585 plus 1 86,000 and here you have 50 plus 10 plus 3 that is equal to how much 63 yeah 50 plus 10 plus 3 that's equal to 63 so 86 is the bigger side yeah this this debit side is the bigger side 86,000 so 86,000 you have to write on both the side 86 86 and then you have to subtract this with all of this yeah 86,000 minus 50 let's do that yeah 86,000 minus 50,000 minus 10,000 minus 3,000 that's equal to 23,000 so 23,000 is the balance in this account by balance carried down now what is the interpretation of this the interpretation is very simple it means that right now in the business you have this much cash 23,000 money you have in the cash account right so that's the meaning of and the you know the interpretation of the balance okay now for the next accounting period what you will do this closing balance will go on the debit side as two balance b by d that's why we call that you know cash account will always have debit balance why how come debit balance we are seeing that it is on the credit side how are you saying it has debit balance we are seeing that it is on the credit side see this credit side it will go on the debit side for the next accounting period as two balance b by d that's what happens okay so you're clear with that right moving on capital account we have already done yeah 80,000 nothing over here so 80,000 on both the sides and the balancing figure to balance carried down 80,000 now what's the analysis of this in the capital account it's showing that we have you know 80,000 balance what's the analysis of this see it's very simple it means that the owner of the business the sole proprietor the owner of the business has claim on this business of 80,000 
he has invested 80,000 in this and he has not taken anything out of the business for his personal use. Yeah. So that's why he has a claim on the business on the total assets of the business of how much of 80,000. He hasn't made any drawings or anything. So he has this whole claim 80,000. Is that clear? So that's the meaning of this balance in capital account. Moving on then let's go to the bank account. See here bank account same like cash only. Right. So let's first balance. So 50,000 here you have and here you have five plus 10,000. So which is the bigger side? Of course, the debit side. So 50,000 on both the sides you have to write. Yeah, that's how you balance. Write it on both the sides and then go on deducting from the credit side. 50,000 minus 10,000, that's equal to 40,000. Minus 5,000, that is equal to 35,000. So that's your balance. By balance carried down 35,000. Again, what is the meaning of this balance? It means that in your bank account, you have 35,000 money. You have this much balance in your bank account. Okay. Now, for the next accounting period, what will happen? This will go on the other side, on the debit side, to balance B by D over here. Okay, over here it will come, right? So that's the analysis of this balance. Moving on, then we have VJ account over here. In VJ account, we have sales and cash over here. So 2000 sales we have. So take that because this is the bigger side, right? So 2000 on both the sides. And then 2000 minus 1000, that is equal to 1000. So by balance carried down, it is 1000 right we understood how to do this but then what's the analysis of this the analysis is the interpretation is that just by looking at the vijay account we can understand we have to receive 1000 money from vijay let's say you have a company or something then you will have lots and lots of transaction with only one customer and you will be maintaining their you know personal t account such as like this one yeah vijay account and so many transaction will be there so what you're going to be doing all those transaction will be summarized like this in this one t account and you will have one balance over there so at any point in time you will be able to understand how much money you have to receive from this customer from this credit customer right so by balance c by d 1000 means we have to receive 1000 from this guy is that clear right moving on then to the sales account so sales account we have we had only this 2000 yeah we have only made 2000 sales to vijay so that's the bigger side credit side is the bigger so take it on both the sides 2000 2000 there is nothing over here so what you're going to do same way to balance carry down 2000 is that clear again the same thing okay this will go on the debit side to balance b by d vj account is a debtor account it will always have debit balance so in the next period it will go over here to balance b by d brought down is that clear right so here as you can see now the sales we have over here 2000 so it means that in this period we have made 2000 sales in total is that clear right so that's what and it has always credit balance sales it's an income so here it's shown on the debit side the closing balance but in the next period it will go over here as an what as a credit balance over here by balance b by d is that clear right next we have purchases account now in purchases we have made two purchases one cash purchase and one rife purchase we have purchased goods from rife on credit fine so now what we have to do we have to balance this account so 16,000 16,000 on both the sides yeah 10,000 plus 6,000 nothing over here so we have to take the total the bigger side on both 16,000 16,000 and then balance it out by balance carried down 16,000 yeah now what's the meaning of this it means that in this period yeah in this accounting period we have you know total purchases of 16000 that's the analysis and the interpretation of this balance in purchases account next moving on then we have rife account so in rife account see here the bigger side is the credit side yeah I think the blue is empty yeah only the black so by purchases account 6000 6000 on both the sides and then here we have shortfall of 3000 yeah because only 3000 is there yeah so 3000 shortfall deficiency is there so you have to fill that up by the balance to balance carry down 3000 fine so rife is your creditor you have to pay money to rife yeah again the same thing for a single supplier you will have so many transactions in a real business yeah now here rife is there right so you will be having so many transactions with rife 25 50 transaction in one accounting period maybe more than that it depends upon the size of the company or the entity right so what will be happening is all those transactions will be summarized into one ledger account one t account and you will have one figure and at any point in time you will come to know you know how much money you have to pay to that supplier right so from this balance c by d 3000 we can understand we have to pay 3000 more to rife yeah that much we owe to rife yeah so that's the interpretation of this balance clear 
fine next we have rent account see here on the rent account the debit side is 10,000 nothing on the credit side so what you're gonna do simple balance it out buy balance carry it down 10,000 yeah you just have to fill the deficiency that's all yeah so Rife account had which balance it ha has the closing balance on this side on the debit side but the nature of the Rife account liability account is credit yeah credit balance it's a liability so this balance will go on this side yeah buy balance brought down okay in the next accounting period now in the rent account also what what is there it has debit nature of balance yeah so the closing balance will be on the opposite side on the credit side but the opening balance in the next accounting period will go on the debit side is that clear right so this is how you have to do it yeah i think you are perfectly clear now with all the transaction i mean all the postings over here and then the balances and all you are perfectly crystal clear with everything if you have any doubts then please contact me on instagram or you can comment down below over here right so that's it yeah this is how you have to do the ledger accounts yeah you need to know the what kind of balances you have and for each and every item you should be able to classify everything into only these five categories asset liability expense revenue or capital yeah in these five if there is drawings then that's opposite of capital yeah do opposite of capital like that so this is how you have to do it fine so that's it for this video in the next video we are going to see a more comprehensive problem so this is it for this video okay see you in the next video bye